Let's bring in Katie Nickel, a columnist for Britain's Mail on Sunday, which first reported the story. Good morning, Katie. Good morning to you. Should we be reading anything into this in terms of the health of the Queen? Yeah, I think this story's got all sorts of implications. As you pointed out earlier in your report, it's been uh, vehemently denied by the palace, but it's in my experience of eight years of royal reporting that the stories that are often denied are the ones that really have a gravitas of truth about them. That, yes, there are all sorts of suggestions about the Queen's health. The other week she opened Parliament, and a lot of commentators noticed that she looked frail. Philip hasn't been very well. You know, the Queen is 83, Philip is 88. They're, realistically, there's only a certain amount that they can do in terms of official engagements and royal duty. Right. It seems to all of us here absolutely normal and plausible that she should be handing over power, which is exactly what's going on. But here's what's interesting, that she is leapfrogging, it seems to be, over Charles. If you're Charles and you're watching this unfold, what are you thinking? Well, I was told from my sources that the Queen sees that she has two substitutes and she wants both of them off the bench. So I think it's a little unfair to suggest that she's leapfrogging Charles. Okay. I do think Charles will be there. But Charles has his own interests. His interests are architecture. His interests are at home in Britain. It's climate change. The Queen's scope has to be far broader than that. Mm -hmm. And William is there at a position in his life when he can come in and do these things. So really, it would be madness for the Queen not to bring him in. OK, will there be ex extra pressure there? though, from Buckingham Palace on William to make Kate Middleton an honest woman. Well, the Kate Middleton question is one that rumbles on. I'm told from the palace that actually they're keen to put an engagement on hold. They want William to be established as a shadow king in mm. his own right before Kate Middleton comes along. I mean, we all remember the scenes of Diana and Charles standing on this very balcony. The problem was that Diana completely eclipsed Charles. She took over in a way that the royal family never believed was possible. Mm. They don't want this to happen again with William and Kate, and I can understand why not. William has to be a shadow king in his own right first. And good old Harry gets to sit back and say, let them all take care of this. I don't want any part of it. Ha Harry gets to watch X Factor. <laughs> Harry gets to watch X Factor. Lucky boy. Katie Nichol, good job. Thank you so much.